Okay, we've got the 56 Chevy on the rotisserie. It's turned sideways, as you can see here. And it's going to make it so much easier to actually work on this bitch. <laughs> uh, I even uh, did the put this uh, floor pan in before I turned it over, so I still got some cleanup and some work to do on the underside here, cleaning up welds, sealing, and filling in. Uh, even maybe a bit of welding here where I've attached it to the existing floor pan of the back seat and uh, basically lots of little uh, loose ends to tie up, holes to fill and even here uh, attaching, finish attaching the quarter panel to the the uh, inner inner rocker um, piece which is just a little bit overlap there, but it's underneath the car. Nobody's gonna see it. This is a driver and uh, But here I can heat up all of this uh, under coating as they put on in 1956 and be able to clean that up and Get this whole thing cleaned up to where I can uh, undercoat the entire areas uh, wheel wells inner quarters and uh, of course Anything, uh, anything that's got uh, metal showing will be epoxied, uh, and even this area here will be media blasted uh, to get it really clean and prep it for the undercoating. But it's hard to see up close. It uh, takes up most of the shop here. But as you can see, the uh, most people don't know where to hook these rotisserie brackets and uh, for this 56 and possibly for a tri fives you can hook them to the body mounts here because you've got this real supportive uh, angle and uh, bracket here that's it, it's got another piece welded to it on the other side and that's very sturdy and then you weld that to your to your floor pan here in your trunk and then you attach your forks to it for the rotisserie and then up in front, I think most people understand that uh, if you still got these uh, frame brackets here that bolt to the frame, that's exactly where you're going to attach the front of your rotisserie. Uh, makes a pretty good place to, pretty secure place to hold it. And if you have a car where you don't have a way to mount it to existing uh, frame frame holes or frame bolts then uh, you could always, I've seen uh, many weld a bracket, uh, angle iron, you know, across the back side of the vehicle or the front side of the vehicle and create them a uh, place to attach the rotisserie. So, all right, I got a lot of work to do here, so I got to get after it and I'll show you the finished product. 